Well, if you live in an apartment, you're definitely used to giving money to the landlord. But did you know your landlord may have to give some of it back? You could be in for a big refund. Hank investigates. Using the swimming pool, partying in the clubhouse, working out in the gym, access to a business center. Those special amenities are what attract people to apartment complexes. <laughs> Renters Ben and Anna loved this place in Quincy, even though they say the property management company told them if they wanted to move in, they had to pay an upfront amenities fee of $525. From the get-go, I didn't think anything was fishy. But now Ben and Anna are demanding that money back. Why? Behind closed doors in Boston's federal court, a judge just decided you can't require tenants to pay an upfront amenities fee. Lawyers who worked on the case say this is a huge potential windfall for renters. Anyone who has paid this fee in the last four years has a claim um, to get that money back. It all started with a lawsuit involving the Archstone Apartments in Reading. According to the lawsuit, the management was charging renters an upfront $475 fee to use the pool, the gym, and the outdoor grill. The average tenant has no idea what fees are permissible and what fees are not permissible. All they want to do is live somewhere. But two tenants who lived at the Reading complex sued, saying Mass Law only allows landlords to charge first and last month's rent, a security deposit, and the cost of a new lock and key. They took their case to court and won on behalf of their neighbors, too. For renters, that's a big deal. The lawyer for the tenant says the judge's decision means everyone who lived in the complex and paid that fee over the past four years will get some money back. Archstone, which no longer owns that complex told us we don't comment on matters regarding litigation real estate experts say many apartments charge those fees till now the law wasn't clear on exactly what was allowed but now tenants who paid amenities fees in other cases like Anna and Ben are asking for their money back too I hope that that would be the end result that the management company would understand yes this is wrong and apologize and return it to everybody that's paid it the problem is, our online spot check of apartment complexes reveals some places are still charging that fee. So if you're told you've got to pay or you can't move in, experts advise, just say no. Push back and to say to the landlord, I don't want to pay that fee or I shouldn't have to pay that fee or you're not allowed to charge that fee. If you've already paid an amenities fee and you were given no choice about it, experts say call your management company and ask about a refund. In the newsroom, I'm Hank Philippi-Ryan.